So the worst certification, in my opinion. Dun -dun 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 -dun. Howdy y'all, it's your favorite trainer with the belt buckle. Today we're gonna to talk about what's the worst certification in fitness. Is it NASM? Is it ACE? Let me tell you why. I know the answer. As a teacher of trainers, author of the book, How to Become a Successful Personal Trainer, show up fitness CPT is the best in the game. Why? Because you actually have to talk about what it's like to be a trainer. Trainers who get a textbook certification, the likelihood of still being around 12 months later, 90% fail. It makes sense when you really think about it. How did you become a trainer? How did you look into becoming a trainer? How did you become a trainer? Why do you think I named my book that? And you came across an ad for NASM, ACE, ISSA, NSCA, ACSM. I've taught all of those certifications. I used to work at a school, MPTI. I know everything about the fourth edition, fifth edition, sixth edition, seventh edition, NASM. ACE, I've gone through and I've either got a variation of one of the certifications or I've helped numerous people get certified because I understand what these textbooks are gonna test you on. We've helped over 3,000 people pass NASM and ACE and the CSCS. It's really easy when you know what they're gonna test you on. So for NASM, they're gonna test you on chapter 7, 11, 12, 13, 21. You gotta know OPT model. You gotta know page 699, 811. Focus on that, you'll pass. For ACE, you gotta know chapters 3, 7, 9, and 10. IFT model all day long, baby. And know page 398. But this isn't gonna make you a great trainer. What we offer at Show Up Fitness is you actually have to articulate what it's like to be a trainer. Do you know your anatomy? Do you know how to program core movement patterns? Can you talk about that on the spot in front of someone? That's what our test is. These tests are super, super easy. And I'm going to break down which one is the worst. And here's why. So when you compare the two, NASA, profit organization. I love it. It's a free market. But NASA has a ton of money to pump into the system to get in front of you. They love to claim 10,000 partnerships. Why couldn't they just pay the gym that? Here's a nice little envelope. Make sure to only accept NASM. Why couldn't they? When I worked at Renaissance Club Sport, I had a degree in kinesiology and my ACSM. And the manager there, the new one who came in, still wanted us to get NASM. Interesting. It's not an accreditation thing. It's not that it's superior in any way. That is really, really interesting to me because you hear that a lot as well. You need your NASM. You need your accredited certification. Both of them are accredited. If you're not familiar with NCCA and ICE, the accreditation process, which Shell Fitness is going through? One year of in the industry getting people certified. Check mark Shell Fitness, we have that. So they have the money and the resources to go through that process. Once you've been around for a year, and now is roughly a $20,000 application process. It takes about six months to gather the documents to submit your application, then it can take anywhere from six months to a year to be approved. So it takes time. Am I biased? Yes, because I see our trainers out there and they're number one at Equinox's in lifetime. But more importantly, they're leaving the corporate gym, starting their own businesses, and they're successful. They're not in that 90% who fail. And that's what really bothers me. As an instructor, I see all the flaws in the industry and it's textbooks. We are the only industry out there that I'm aware of that the testing to start the profession has nothing to do with what the profession requires. If you want to be a, a beauty hair person, sorry, not politically correct. I'm sure someone's going to comment on that. That's mean. I don't know what it's called. Esthetician, whatever. You have to go through school. You have to gain hands-on experience. You want to become a lawyer, law school, doctor, med school, teacher, credential, trainer, take a test. There you go. And most people, I get emails all the time. It's so confusing. I don't understand how I'm going to pass this. I took a quiz and I got 60%. They're quizzing you on the entire book. <laughs> of course it's going to be challenging. Try to memorize 800 pages. Our study guides are 40 pages. You're a profit organization, show fitness. Yeah, but we're trying to change the industry by creating qualified trainers. So an ACE is nonprofit. That really doesn't matter. I'm just giving you a little history on both associations. When it comes to their movement screens, both spread fear. So you have to do the overhead squat assessment. And if you have uh, pronation distortion syndrome, upper cross syndrome, uh, all these distortion syndromes, I want you to do this little thought experiment. Hop on your Instagram. 
grab mom, dad, or aunt or uncle over and tell them that they have a syndrome. Hey, pops, you got this syndrome. He's going to backhand you. What do you mean have a syndrome? No wonder why corporate trainers sell at a 20 to 30 percent success rate. Show up in is 80 plus percent. Also, our rates are between 100 to 250 per hour. Corporate gyms, if you're high end like Equinox, 125 with a cap of 175. Why would you cap people? Let them show you their potential. The lower end gyms, 24 and crunch and so forth, they're less than 100. We don't spread fear. The FMS, that spreads fear. Doing a torso test, you're setting clients up for fear based movement versus find out what their goals are. Smile, shake their hand. Let's take you through a workout. You want to grow your ass? I got you covered. Let me show you a hip thrust. Oh my God, how does that feel? You feel that back there, don't you? Oh, let me show you this other exercise, a pull up. Oh, Chris, I can't do a pull up. Yes, you can. You got a great trainer in front of you. Let's get up there and do this safely. We don't spread fear. You have an overactive latissimus dorsi. We got a foam roll and stretch. You're going to die and go to hell. Doesn't work very well. So both of them, fear mongering. Here with NASM, you have the OPT model. Five phases. You got to know everything about that. It's not that great. C minus D plus at best. We have a professor on our team, and we love to go through the programming from the OPT model because it's absolutely terrible. Stabilization is what you start out on, and there's numerous evidence that support not doing that when it comes to optimizing tension. If you've been injured, sure, let's do some stabilizing things that could help with proprioception and, and the expediting the healing process. That's great, but is your client actually injured in the last couple weeks? If not, unstable surface training, it's inferior. IFT model, same kind of system. We have three parts here. You build your way up. They're pretty similar in their approaches on that. Sample programming, NASM gives you a bunch. I give them the edge in that regard. ACE doesn't. And so I don't have access to their online portal. They may have programming on there where they tell you what it looks like. I'm not talking about blogs because I've seen that on their site. But at least give some examples of where a trainer can begin. So many of you got just bamboozled into some giant bundle, two, three, four thousand dollars $4,000. Oh, God, can you get a refund? If you can, we can help you become successful at half the cost. But more importantly, get into an environment where you can learn and train people and create a reasonable career. So NASM at least gives you an opportunity to follow some of their programming it's not the best, it's again, terrible in my opinion, but they're giving you something. When it comes to anatomy, I feel like both of these associations, just their budget ran out, but they have a lot of money. They're like, you know, let's just throw some shitty images in here. ACE doesn't have very uh, detailed anatomy charts, nor does NASA, but at least they have more. Neither have the 17 muscles of the shoulder that we quiz you on. You gotta be able to name those with the proper pronunciation, supraspinatus, infraspinatus, teres minor, subscapularis. Well, you don't need to know that as a trainer. But when you're working with a medical professional, a therapist, and you're able to have that conversation, you're setting yourself apart from the textbook trainers. They're going to have respect for you because trainers are not looked at respectfully. We hurt people. We're CrossFitters. So many therapists that were hurt from trainers. Rhabdomyolysis until CrossFit and trainers came around who didn't know what they're doing. We're hurting people and qualified trainers get a bad rep for it. So the anatomy in both of these suck. But if you had to choose, I would go with NASM. So the worst certification, in my opinion, -na 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 -na, is going to be ACE. Now, when it comes to the easiest to pass, hands down, NASM. You can pass it if you can't get a refund. We've had people do it in three days. Show up in a CPT. You will learn anatomy, programming, how to build a book of business. When you move into level two, we have online coaching to help you with website development, business development, how to get clients, how to build more streams of revenue. We work with a registered dietitian when it comes to our nutrition coach program. You will not get nutrition on these exams, maybe 5% of the total test, because they want you to get the next cert, the next cert, the next cert. Before you know it, you wasted $3,000 and you're not a trainer anymore. Well, we have a nice map that's getting you in front of actual people to ask questions. Our classes are recorded. They're online. We have opportunities for weekend events, seminars in person, Los Angeles, San Diego. Come back to this video in five years and check out where Show Up Fitness is. You're going to be coming looking at this video and be like, holy crap, 
That's what I should have done in the beginning. That's the route for success. But if you can't get a refund, ISSA, NSCA, ACSM, ACE, NASA, those are the top five most popular. But remember, just because you're popular doesn't mean it's right. Fast food's popular. Taco Bell, Burger King. What's the quality of fast food? Textbook CPT versus a high-end steak restaurant. So if you want to become a trainer, read the book. Make sure to subscribe to this channel. Comment below. Let's have some discourse. If you want to hop on Instagram Live, love to have a conversation with you. My goal is to help you help people safely and become a qualified personal trainer and turn your passion for fitness into a career. Have a great day, y'all. Keep showing.